shoe healer and I posted a video uh, a few weeks back. Anyway, somebody came back to me and said they'd had a Chini shoe and it was... Uh, They've been disappointed with it, with the stitching, with the pull tabs coming off, and the uh, and and I just I just wanted to come back. Occasionally, occasionally you will have anything in life and and have a little bit of a, a problem with it, and and I like to sort of give it a little bit of thought. Why would you have a problem with a chini chini shoe or boot? You really shouldn't. They are superb. Now. If I have a customer who who is, oh, let's say a big chap, and you just know he's going to knock the stuffing out of his shoes, I would point that chap at a tricky shoe. I, 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 if he's going to be heavy and hard on that shoe, the the best shoe in the world to put him in is a tricky shoe. It will, it really will. It just saves any heartache anywhere. Uh, he's got to pay for that tricky shoe, of course, which is a bit more expensive than than maybe say a Barker or maybe a uh, uh, a, a, a Chini, a little bit more expensive than a Chini. But you just know it's going to be good for him that tricky shoe, a, a, a big chap, and he's going to knock the stuffing out. And he knows who he is because he will go through a lot of shoes. The Chini shoe. That will take a lot of punishment. It really, really will. It's a great shoe. And I can't think why, un unless there's some underlying reason that you would have a problem with a shoe, unless you know you really do, your feet eat these shoes and, and you're going to get through a lot of them. So we have a pair here. Look, this is a pair of Chini boots that have come back. And look at the state of those. Now, there's a reason. There's a reason for this. These are great boots. I sell quite a lot of these boots and they last forever. This chap has worn these at work and all this discoloration here is actually a product, is a jeweler. It's a product, it's called Rouge and it's what they use to polish the, uh, the, the, the jewellery up. And it's an abrasive and it's got onto the boots and as he's walked, it's just totally destroyed the leather. Now we are going to have a go at doing something with them for him. Amazingly, we're going to glue all this back now and put a liner inside and stitch this back up because he's not really had the boot long. When I turn it over, look, the sole is about goosed. The heel is well down, but it's never had a repair. This is how the boot was from the start. And then you can see where his trousers have protected the rest of the leather around here and that leather is perfect absolutely fine so if you have a problem with a shoe there's generally a reason sometimes somebody walks in here with a shoe and it can be a tricker and i'm disappointed with how it's how, where did you get that tricker from i got it from the charity shop but it's brand new no he's been at the charity shop a good few years it might have been tucked under some chap's bed for 20 years it'll be an old shoe that's had no love no polish no cream no no looking after so there's generally an underlying reason why you would get a shoe i'm not saying that they're all perfect from the factory but there's generally a reason if if there's a problem because most of them most of them are perfect this is just a quick message for you to remember to have a quick look on our website. We keep doing bits and bobs to the website, putting a few videos on and such. Uh, so I think it's time to check out our website at The Shoe Healer.